I'm so excited to meet you. Okay, so your and Sean's relationship was one of my favorites growing up watching. How does it feel to kind of know that you are one of those amazing couples on TV for every like 90s kid out there? Well, you know, as the creator of the show often tells me, you are on an iconic show. And I believe that. It's, it's definitely an iconic show. It follows me wherever I go forever. You know, I love it. And now you return to Girl Meets World this season. What was that like being back on set, being with Ben and Danielle? Being with everybody was great. It really was great, especially Ryder. It's always good to see him and everything. And, and now that everyone's grown up, it's just so weird. It's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> they really have met the world. <laughs> now, did you keep in touch with them all throughout the years or did it kind of go in and out? It was sporadically. You know what, I like to compare because I get asked that question all the time. And I compare it to like camp. Like camp's over, you want to like stay in touch, but it's like, you know, but you know, if you had camp reunion, you definitely would come, right? So, but I love all of them, so. Now, what was like one of your most memorable times being on set back then? My most memorable, I would say, I would, my most memorable right now, and I want to just give a little uh, homage to the man who paid my father. Um, he really, he recently passed. And, you know, I just remember him in my heart so much. He was just such a great man. But other than that, on the, on the fun tip, I, I like the shower scene with Ben back in the day. <laughs> That's the classic moment, you know. What about the Halloween episode? Or, well, it was kind of like the scary episode. You know what? I just ran into Jennifer Love Hewitt on the set of Criminal Minds. Uh, and I, that, that's like such the memorable moment because I always claim that, you know. I love being the screamer. <laughs> now, and you don't mind when people come up to you and you're like, are you Angela? You don't mind that? <laughs> Why would I mind that? No, that's fabulous. What are you going to do? Do you still feel like, do you still connect with Angela? Like, where would she be at today if you, if you had a choose? You know what, I connect with Angela a lot because I honestly, I'm a great actress, believe me, but I really didn't feel like I was acting that much when I did that role. So I, I totally feel connected with the role. That's why I don't mind when people say, hey, are you Angela? You know, Angela for life, you know, whatever. <laughs> Angela for life, definitely. Believe me, I get so many other things more to worry about than people worrying about that, you know. I mean, it's a good thing to be known for, for sure. Now, do you remember the theme song, like, by heart and everything? Oh, of course. All right, this is the funny thing. I challenge anyone to know all the words, okay? Because in the beginning, it's like, boy meets what? But then there's this thing they do in the middle. It's like, traveling along the thing go like, what we're doing. I'm like, what the hell are you saying in that part? Yeah. But, uh, yes. <laughs> this thing called life or something. <laughs> but your friends will always stand by you. Stand by me. I wish I had my singing voice on. I would really belt that shit out for you right now. But Now, what have you been up to lately that you could catch us up to speed with? Um, well, okay. Uh, of course, I did the new episode of Girl Meets World, and that's very interesting because now I have a husband and different things going on with that. I just did an episode of a show called In the Cut with Bentley Kyle Evans, who's the maker of Martin, and that's going to be coming out in the fall. It's going to be really fun. And I have about three movies on the table that are produced by my own production company, where you see a very different Trina McGee, and I get to play all the roles that I've always really trained and been ready to do and everything. They're very wild, risque, racy movies and they'll be coming out, not too racy though, but they'll be coming out um, this winter. <laughs> so a lot to look out for. Now, so Angela never ended up with Sean then. Do you wish that they would have? Like what could have made them work? I don't know what could have made them work, but I will tell you what does work. Friendship works forever. Now, I'm not saying I don't know what's going to happen with Sean and Angela. I have been told that, you know, Sean and Angela will never die, but I will say that, you know, friendship always works. And you can break up with someone, but if you keep the friendship alive, you can be in their life forever. So. Well, it's awesome. It was such an iconic role, and I feel like you guys really portrayed such a great interracial relationship, too. And in the 90s, like, it wasn't as prevalent to see that on TV, and I think you guys did a really great job. You know, I disagree. I think it was almost more prevalent than sometimes I see now, you know. It goes in and out now, you know. But, that, but to have one steady thing going would be nice. And it wasn't, like, stereotypical either. I think that's what I appreciated about that, too. They never mentioned, they never mentioned that we were of different races, you know. 
I barely noticed it half the time. Yeah, <laughs> that was like the best part about it too. When it came to like seasoning the food that I, and the dance moves, I'd be like, okay, yes, we're different. We're like, all right. <laughs> but other than that, you know.